Time now for Kyle's Weather Classroom. And yesterday, right here on Quad City State 11, we were talking about water spouts that had developed over Lake Michigan. Now, while they might simply just look like a tornado over water, they do form a little more different than a classic tornado associated with a supercell thunderstorm. Eye-catching video of a water spout in Lake Michigan just off the coast of Racine, Wisconsin Wednesday morning. It was one of many water spouts spotted on the lake during the day Wednesday. Water spouts form a little bit different than a typical tornado. A tornado forms from a parent supercell thunderstorm. It starts with rotation in the cloud that eventually reaches the ground. A water spout, however, forms with rotating air near the surface of the water and then connects up to the base of a cumulus cloud. Other than marine interests, these typically don't pose a threat unless they move over land, becoming a tornado. During Wednesday's setup, the water spouts formed with relatively cool air moving over the relatively warm waters of Lake Michigan. There were light, converging winds at the surface, which created the rotation just above the waters of Lake Michigan. The rotating warm air began to rise, picking up mist from the surface as the column of rotating air worked its way up to the base of the cumulus cloud. While there were showers present, this was considered more of a fair weather water spout situation. Fair weather water spouts typically don't need an apparent shower or thunderstorm to form. Tornadic water spouts happen when a tornado moves from land to water or when a supercell thunderstorm produces a tornado over open water. These types of water spouts are usually stronger than the fair weather water spouts. Typically, water spouts only last a few minutes to a half hour before dissipating. Kyle Keel, TV6 News.